Hi, welcome to Stories of Art. My name is Karel Huidkoper. Today I'd like to tell you this story about this, this lovely painting by Vincent van Gogh. Um, now before I start, this is, I'm going to refer to him in the Dutch pronunciation of his name, because I'm Dutch, so that's what I'm used to. Uh, I know many people are used to saying Vincent van Gogh or van Gogh, um, but the Dutch pronunciation is Vincent van Gogh. And, well, he was born in the Netherlands, lived a substantial part of his life elsewhere, uh, and of course the most important part of his life, the one in which was most creative, he lived in France. But nevertheless, he was Dutch. Um, so I'm going to call him by his Dutch name, Vincent van Gogh. And before I start with the, the actual story, uh, this would be an excellent time to um, look for that button below this video that says subscribe. If you press that, then um, you'll subscribe to my channel, which is, by the way, completely free. And uh, you can find all my other videos and even be notified when I post new ones. So it's a win-win, I would say. Anyway, um, this painting by Van Gogh uh, of almond blossoms is in the uh, Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. And um, if you know nothing else about Vincent van Gogh, I'm sure you know that he was a painter and he had several um, mental health issues. Now, as a disclaimer, I am not a medical professional and I have, um, well, not a, a mental health professional. I know very little about it, but it is well documented that he had these mental problems. He was um, hospitalized several times for it. And um, he, at the time when he was painting this painting, he was in a, uh, under mental health care to apparently no avail because a few months after he made this painting, he shot himself. Um, he had this, this self-destructive uh, episodes. Uh, of course, he, he cut off his own ear famously. That had happened a while before. And um, eventually he would shoot himself um, in a, he, he walked into a field and there, and he had a pistol and he shot himself in the belly for some reason. And it took him days to, to die of that. Um, all very sad. And it's clear that he had all these mental issues um, of which I would not really dare to make any diagnosis. Uh, what I've read is that it could be that he was um, a manic depressive, which came because he would um, he would paint uh, several works a day for short periods of time, and then he would have these uh, inactive periods after that. That's why it's it's uh, some have assumed that he was a manic depressive. Anyway, whatever he had, he he was often not very happy. Um, and some people can say that you can see his, his mental anguish in his paintings. And the reason I chose this painting to show to you is that this is one of those that shows you his, his um, loving and human and caring side. And that makes this actually, I think, a very uplifting uh, painting, which is unusual for him. These are almond blossoms against a blue sky. It's basically, it's a landscape, but strangely enough, there's no land. You can't see any land. It's just a blue sky, almond blossom set against a blue sky. And, and that is a clear influence of, of Japanese prints. Um, for quite some time by then, this is 1890, and for, for decades before, there had been a, a fashion that kept growing for everything Japanese. And there was this, um, this tendency to buy uh, Japanese prints, mostly, uh, woodblock print. Um, and people would do that all the time. They were very, very fashionable. And that is because the Japanese had a different way of looking at, um, at perspective. They, they didn't follow the, the exact rules of perspective the way that had become usual in Europe. And it was an inspiration, it was a new way of looking at things. And Van Gogh was as inspired by these as uh, so many other people. You can see on, this is a print he made, uh, very much inspired and very clearly inspired by, uh, by Japanese printmaking. 
but he had also been um, interested for a while in flowers. Um, of course, sunflowers. He made a whole series of different sunflower paintings and uh, suddenly also uh, almond blossoms. Um, he made most of them in the, in the spring of uh, 1890 and um, had some of them set in a jar, um, set in different backgrounds, and then this one set against a blue sky. The reason he made this one is, is actually a, a well known because he wrote a letter about it to his, to his brother, Theo. And it was in answer to a letter that Theo had written to him. Theo was his, his younger brother who worked for an art dealership, a very large art dealership that had um, many different shops throughout Europe. Um, Vincent had worked there as well for a time. But Theo still worked there and um, he lived in Brussels at the time with his wife um, and his wife Jo had had, uh, had had a son and they'd called him Vincent after Theo's big brother. And he wrote him a letter to tell him that. Um, and Vincent was uh, proud, um, a loving uncle, even though he was struggling with his own demons at the time. And um, he wrote back to his brother that um, he wanted to make a painting for, uh, for little Vincent's nursery, a painting that he could have on his wall. So nothing depressing, but just something beautiful. And he had come up with his own sort of symbolism. And he said that the almond tree is the first tree to bloom, or so he said in his letter anyway. And to Vincent van Gogh that um, symbolized a new beginning, new life. And that's why he wanted to paint specifically almond blossoms for his, for his new little nephew. Uh, to be hung in the nursery next to his, his bed or whatever. And it is, well, a cheerful painting, a bright blue sky, just the sort of thing you could have in a, in a child's room, I, I suppose. Um, and it was used for that. And little Vincent, the, the young Vincent, had it all his life. And he ended up inheriting eventually all the works that Vincent van Gogh did not sell during his lifetime which, as I'm sure you know, was most of his work. And so they ended up with a, a pretty large collection of works that they didn't know what to do with. And eventually they managed to actually start a museum. And that's the Van Gogh Museum, uh, the one in Amsterdam. Uh, it was started by the family itself, and uh, they still have that enormous collection. Um, and you can see it there, and this painting is, is one of them. And, as I said, one of the uplifting paintings in his life. So now, all you have to do is just click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this painting. If you have any suggestions to other paintings or subjects you want me to talk about, let me know in the comments. And um, thank you very much for listening. I'll see you soon. Bye.